of the apparatus from lab number four. There's a water flow from left to right. And in this experiment, there's a piece of plexiglass on the side of the Venturi flow meter so that you can see the cross-sectional area. You can see the cross-sectional area gets reduced gradually to a minimum here at what's called the throat, which is the point of maximum velocity. And then as the flow moves downstream, you can see that the cross-sectional area of the flow increases and the velocity will decrease in this region. There's also seven piezometers here. And so we can actually make a measurement of the uh, hydraulic grade line, uh, see how high the fluid rises in those piezometers, and compare that to what uh, Bernoulli equation would predict for an ideal in viscid flow. And that's one of the objectives of the lab. But it's nice today to show this in, uh, in order to explain the concepts of hydraulic grade line and energy grade line for actual flows. This is the experimental setup for lab number four. You can see the Venturi flow meter at the bottom with flow from left to right. So on the left hand side there's this blue uh, water tank and there's a supply of water uh, continuously to that tank. And the pipe that you see up here is actually an overflow pipe. So there's water coming into the pipe and so the water level in this tank will be somewhere up around here uh, and there'll be a continuous overflow. You can see the Venturi uh, meter there attached to the bottom of the water tank. There are, as I mentioned, seven piezometers. And in this case, I've added a little bit of blue dye to the flow just so you can uh, see the heights of the piezometers. When you do the experiment for lab four, there won't be any dye. And there's a valve here, just a hand valve on the outlet that allows me to control the flow rate uh, through the system. Next, I'm going to show a short video presentation uh, of lab number four, the Venturi flow meter. And after I've shown the this video, uh, we're going to look at the analysis of the hydraulic grade line and the energy grade line for this actual flow. Now before I start the video you'll notice here that there's no flow through the venturi at the moment. This valve over here is closed and so all of the piezometers here have fluid at the same height. They would be at equilibrium with the fluid in the tank and so that represents the fluid level in the tank at the start. So now let's just watch the video. So at the beginning here, I'm just opening that valve to let some flow through, and you'll notice the piezometer levels changing dramatically. Now you can see it's pretty much at steady state. So you're seeing the steady state hydraulic grade line. Finally, what I'm going to do is just turn the flow back down, turn it off. And there it is with the flow off and we're back to the original situation. So now uh, there's no flow through the Venturi flow meter and uh, all of the piezometers are back to the original level, the height of the level in the adjacent tank. And you can see that because I drew a little bit of flow, the uh, height of the water level in the tank has decreased slightly. 